Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, Marcus Aurelius on silence know when to speak. We explore the teachings of Marcus Aurelius on the art of silence and knowing when to speak. Discover how Stoicism offers valuable guidance on self-control and reflection in everyday situations. We'll highlight nine critical moments when choosing silence can lead to personal growth and deeper connections. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear, simple roadmap to improve your mental well-being, step by step. Here at Holistic Wellness 24-7, we focus on the how-to of not just extending your lifespan, but also expanding your health span. So let's get started on your journey to better mental health. In a world filled with constant chatter, have you ever stopped to think that sometimes silence can speak volumes? Today, we're uncovering the profound wisdom of Marcus Aurelius on the art of knowing when to speak and when to embrace silence. They knew that silence is not simply the absence of noise, but a force capable of shaping our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our destinies. The first situation where Aurelius advises silence is when we are met with unfair criticism. It's easy to become defensive, to feel the need to justify ourselves, to fling counter-accusations back, but Aurelius challenges us to consider a different path. What good, he asks, comes from indulging in such a back and forth? Does it change the opinion of the other person? Often, it simply adds fuel to the fire, escalating the situation and leaving us feeling worse. Instead, Aurelius suggests we use these moments as opportunities for introspection. Is there any truth to what's being said? Even if it's just a kernel, can we use it as an opportunity for growth? When we quiet our own ego and truly listen, we might find valuable lessons hidden within the criticism. This doesn't mean we become passive doormats. It's about choosing our battles wisely. Silence in the face of unfair criticism is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. Choose instead to find the opportunity for growth and rise above the petty insults. The world is full of those who feel the need to constantly proclaim their accomplishments, their possessions, their supposed superiority. They speak loudly, hoping to be noticed, to be admired. In these situations, it can be tempting to try to compete, to match their volume with our own, to prove our own worth, to show that we too have something to offer, to engage in a battle of egos where the loudest voice often seems to win. Aurelius, however, suggests a more powerful approach. Silence. In the face of boastfulness, silence can be a profound statement. When we encounter those who boast, he reminds us their words often stem from insecurity, a need to mask their own doubts, a deep-seated need for external validation, for approval from others. By choosing not to engage in this game of one-upmanship, we demonstrate a quiet confidence that speaks louder than any boast. Our silence can be more powerful than their words. Our actions, our character, our contributions will speak for themselves. They will be the true measure of our worth. Furthermore, when we resist the urge to boast ourselves, we create space for genuine connection. We open the door to real, meaningful interactions. People are drawn to humility, to those who listen more than they speak, who value others' words, to those who listen more than they speak, to those who are present in the moment, to those who are comfortable in their own skin, who do not need to prove their worth to anyone. Let your actions be the substance that speaks for itself. Let your deeds be the evidence of your character. Let your character be the testament to your worth. In the end, it is our actions that define us. In a world obsessed with appearances, there is a quiet power in letting go of the need to prove ourselves. There is strength in humility. Let your actions, your kindness, your integrity be the things that people remember, not your boasts. Let your life be a testament to your true worth. Anger is a powerful emotion, one that can easily hijack our thoughts and lead us down a destructive path. Aurelius, like many Stoic philosophers, saw anger as a form of temporary madness a dangerous indulgence that clouded our judgment and led to regret. When we're consumed by anger, it's nearly impossible to think clearly, to make rational decisions. We lash out, we say things we don't mean, we damage relationships and create unnecessary suffering. In these moments of intense emotion, Aurelius prescribes a simple yet powerful antidote silence. Before you speak, before you react, take a breath. Give yourself time and space to cool down, to let the initial wave of anger subside. 
This period of silence is not about suppressing our emotions, it's about creating a space for reflection, for understanding the root of our anger. By choosing silence over impulsive reaction, we regain control of our emotions and create the opportunity for a more measured, thoughtful response. Against unfounded rumors. In the age of social media, we're bombarded with information, much of it unsubstantiated, misleading or downright false. The sheer volume of content can be overwhelming, making it difficult to discern fact from fiction. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of gossip, to be drawn into the drama and speculation. The allure of being in the know can be tempting, but it often leads us astray. Aurelius, however, reminds us that engaging in such behaviour is rarely productive. Instead, he advocates for a more thoughtful and measured approach to the information we encounter. It spreads negativity, fuels division and ultimately diminishes us. The chaos and conflict that arise from rumours can have far-reaching consequences, affecting not just individuals but entire communities. When we entertain and spread rumours, we align ourselves with the lowest common denominator, sacrificing our integrity for the sake of a fleeting thrill. This momentary satisfaction is often followed by regret and a sense of disillusionment. Instead of adding to the noise, Aurelia suggests we cultivate a sense of detachment. By stepping back and observing without immediate judgment, we can maintain our inner peace. Recognize that rumors are often born from envy, insecurity, or boredom. These emotions can cloud our judgment and lead us to act in ways that are not true to our values. They reflect more on the speaker than on the subject. The act of spreading rumors reveals more about the insecurities and motivations of the person spreading them. When confronted with gossip, ask yourself, does this information benefit me or anyone else? Is it constructive or merely destructive? Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? These questions can serve as a moral compass, guiding us towards more ethical behavior. If the answer to any of these questions is no, it's best to simply disengage. Walking away from negativity is a powerful act of self-preservation. Remember, our time and energy are precious. We have limited resources and how we choose to spend them defines our character. Let's not waste them on negativity and speculation. Instead, focus on what uplifts and inspires. Let our actions, our words, our very presence be a testament to the power of integrity and virtue. By embodying these principles, we can create a more positive and harmonious world. Dealing with loss. Loss is an inevitable part of life. We lose loved ones, relationships end, dreams fade. These moments can feel like the ground has been pulled from beneath us. It's in these moments of profound grief that the stoic practice of silence can be most challenging yet most rewarding. Silence allows us to connect with our inner selves. When we experience loss, it's natural to want to fill the void with words, to seek comfort in conversation, to express the overwhelming pain and confusion. We often feel the need to articulate our sorrow, yet words often feel inadequate in the face of such deep sorrow. They can fall short of capturing the depth of our emotions. Aurelius reminds us that silence can be a powerful form of healing. It offers a sanctuary for our thoughts and feelings. It allows us to sit with our grief, to be present with our pain, to process our emotions without judgment or expectation. Silence gives us the freedom to feel deeply. It gives us the space to remember, to reflect on our memories and to begin to heal. Healing is a journey that starts with acknowledging our loss. In the face of loss, we may feel pressure to move on, to show the world that we are strong, to present a brave face to the world, but true strength lies in our vulnerability. But Aurelius teaches us that there is strength in acknowledging our pain, in facing it head on, in allowing ourselves the time and space to grieve authentically. Grieving is a personal process that cannot be rushed. Silence doesn't mean denying our emotions, it means giving them room to breathe, it means creating a safe space for them to exist. Remember, healing takes time. Be patient with yourself, honour your emotions and allow silence to be a source of comfort and strength during this difficult time. Embrace the quiet moments for they hold the key to your healing. In disagreements, disagreements are a natural part of human interaction. We all have different perspectives, experiences and values that shape our views. 
Yet all too often disagreements devolve into arguments fueled by ego, pride and the need to be right. Aurelius offers a different approach, suggesting that silence can be a powerful tool for navigating disagreements constructively. When we feel ourselves getting heated, when the urge to interrupt or counter-argue arises, he advises us to pause, take a breath, listen, truly listen to what the other person is saying, not just to formulate your next retort. Seek to understand their perspective, even if you don't agree with it. Often, the root of disagreements lies in misunderstanding or a lack of empathy. By choosing silence over immediate reaction, we create space for understanding to emerge. This doesn't mean we have to agree with everything everyone says. By embracing silence, we create the space for genuine dialogue, for finding common ground, and for strengthening relationships even amidst differing viewpoints. In social situations, it's easy to feel pressure to be on, to entertain, to contribute to the conversation. Yet Aurelius reminds us that there is also value in silence. In a world that often prizes extroversion, he encourages us to embrace the power of observation. When we choose to listen more than we speak, we open ourselves up to new perspectives, new ideas and new ways of seeing the world. We learn from the experiences of others and we develop a deeper understanding of human nature. Silence also allows us to cultivate self-awareness. When we're not constantly talking, we have the opportunity to observe our own thoughts and feelings, to notice our reactions to others and to gain valuable insights into our own behavior. Furthermore, silence can be a sign of respect when someone else is speaking, giving them our undivided attention without interruption or distraction is a powerful way to show that we value their words and their presence. We've all encountered them, those loaded questions designed to elicit a specific response to trap us in a corner or to manipulate us into saying something we'll regret. In these situations, Aurelius advises caution, suggesting that silence can be our greatest ally. When confronted with a leading question, our first instinct might be to defend ourselves, to offer a justification or to counter with a question of our own. But Aurelius reminds us that sometimes the wisest course of action is to simply say nothing at all. Silence in these instances is not an admission of guilt or defeat, it's a strategic retreat. It allows us to avoid the trap that's been set to maintain our composure and to preserve our energy for more worthy battles. Moreover, silence can be disarming. When we refuse to play the game, we take back our power. And finally, consider in the heat of the moment when emotions run high, it's all too easy to react impulsively. Whether it's a biting remark, a rash decision or a burst of anger, our initial reactions are often driven by ego, fear or insecurity. Aurelius, however, urges us to cultivate the opposite approach, the power of the pause. Before we speak or act, he advises us to take a moment of silence to create space between the stimulus and our response. This pause, however brief, can be transformative. It allows us to break free from the grip of our emotions, to access our rational minds and to respond with intention rather than reaction. By choosing silence over impulsivity, we cultivate a life of greater peace, purpose and fulfillment. As we navigate life's challenges, embracing silence isn't about weakness. It's a strategic act of strength and self-control. Imagine how different your interactions could be if you applied these principles. The silence we choose to practice today can pave the way for deeper understanding and more meaningful connections tomorrow. Think about your past experiences. How might practicing stoic silence have altered the outcomes? By learning when to embrace silence, as taught by Marcus Aurelius, we can transform our interactions and enhance our personal growth. Remember, as Aurelius wisely stated, don't waste time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. If you found value in this exploration of stoicism and silence, hit that subscribe button for more insights on personal development and timeless wisdom. Share your thoughts on the power of silence in the comments below. Join us in this journey of self-improvement and let's learn together how to speak less but say more.